Hey everybody, my name is Sonic Wolf and welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we actually did two pranks to comments and yeah, we did a couple of speedrun galaxies and that's about it I guess. In this, in this episode, we are going to Honey Hub Galaxy, Cosmic Comet and sorry about that. My volume and rumble is like way too high because I was playing a bit of Wii Sports, you know, earlier. You know, because I locked that game ever since I started playing video games. But anyway, the Cosmic Mario Race, the Blue Comet, I hate those ones because it's a racing game and I hate racing games. But if you played as Luigi, the challenge is actually a lot harder because, well, it's basically a difficulty. So there's a start. So you want to, you want to press C when it's at. I think, ah, mess it up. There is a secret, um, yeah, there is a secret startup when you have to actually time those right. So you basically have to crotch, and then you have to actually press A at just the right time, and then you get like a massive head start, which will run very, very far, fast. And again, with my American accent. <laughs> anyway, we're sliding, and then I, I actually jumped, but it didn't respond, so... Yeah, do some more parkour. Yeah, this is actually the first um, racing Mario game for this galaxy. Anyway, I thought it was hard, but it's not. Well, it will be if you're playing as Luigi. Anyway, we got the star! Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's right. Go cry in the corner and stand on the honey and do whatever to it. Okay, we're going to Space Jump Galaxy again, and there are two um, stars, which one of them is a secret. Stop pushing the pillar, Mario. Yeah, stop pushing the pillar, seriously. What are you, are, Mr. Incredible? Yeah, that's not who you are. Anyway, there's one normal star and one secret star, and I'm going to like show you how what they'll do. So, I'm going to show you the secret of, yeah, I'm going to show you the secret star to see what it is. There we go, Tor Torrentox Tangled Web. It's basically a boss fight, so, oh no, not spiders, I hate spiders. Yeah, it said Tangled Web, so that means it must be spiders. I don't know, I really hate spiders ever since I played Skylanders, which is the first... Oh, don't do that, Mario. Um, anyway, for the secret star, you need about 50 star bits, so... Yeah, I'm actually going to fast forward this uh, video because I'm going to be getting the 50 star bits, which I'm not going to stand for, like, 20, around 5 minutes trying to collect every single star bit because they take too long. Maybe with a bunch of star bits and transform. need 50. Yeah, I was right, 50. And I'm not going to shake my head, feel like I'm using a real machine gun for this. Yeah, he's burning like a thousand degrees, and then... <laughs> oh, excuse me. A new planet is born, and it's a... a Yoshi head that is... Yeah, it's actually wood shaped as a Yoshi head. Now we got some fire out of its nostrils. Now, here's the bit that I find really weird. Check it out, there's a counter on there. Why is there a counter, like, on this? I never actually... I don't actually know why there's a counter. I... It's just on there for no reason. Yeah, it was on there for no reason. And they don't give you star bits, and they don't give you coins once you step on them. Well, it would have been nice if it did, but... Unfortunately, they were just lazy when giving me some coins to star bits, so... Yeah, all you have to do is just get all the Goombas, like, yeah, destroy all of them until it, until the wood is actually cleared, so, this is going to take a while. Oh, there you are, right there, and it's actually right in front of his face with the, um, the star right there. Um, get it, thank you. 
I don't know how many Goombas are actually on this wooden planet. Um, but I think Mr. I think the editor would actually, you know, figure it out. But unfortunately, I'm the editor for these videos because I'm just a one-man person making these videos, which is actually a bit harder. So I'm not going to save because I don't want to accidentally save if the recordings are terrible. Yeah, I'm actually worried because I got my um, laptop charger right over there just to charge it. So it's actually low on battery, so I'm charging it while I'm recording. That's what I'm scared about is getting the failed recordings after I finish. So I will cut ahead until we reach the iceberg planet again, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and you might notice the slingshot is still there. You don't have to actually get 50. You know, Starbursts in order to get that planet again. You don't need to, you can just basically give it 50 and then transform into a slingshot. Now, this bit, all you want to do is follow the logs. So, there, there, see, look, I'm following the logs, so it's much easier. Then we're going to watch, so I break the ice. And there's one more thing to break. Is it a star shaped crystal? Yeah. Yes, last one. No, I I missed the last one. And, oh, no, no, not spiders. Squish on you before you jump. I I just hate spiders. Yeah, when I played Skylanders, like Spiders of Edge, the first time, I was really scared about those weird enemies. So I'm going to launch it in that that pod there. Nailed it. So you basically grab onto the pool. Um, that sticky stuff, and then... Oh, wait, I didn't actually... Oh, uh, I accidentally shot it back, so that... Anyway, what are you gonna say? That's it. Uh, that was it? Uh, I, I thought it would give me more examples, but no. Let's throw it this way. Oh, there's a... There's a... Ah, uh, missed it. There, I saw a... I saw ex an expanded life, um... Mushroom. So I'm gonna fire right over there. I didn't actually hit it in that direction. What? Oh, there's something special. If you actually use the Wii point, the Wii pointer at the the coins, they'll actually release on its own. See, look. See, look at that. Look at that. Now, don't actually use, don't actually do that very early on because you need it uh, during the boss fight. And here's the boss. I don't know its name, but. It said it in the title, but whatever. So all you want to do is you want to like run around until you reach its back. <laughs> wow, the toad actually—I actually pulled the toad and then, yeah, slammed into the stuff on him. I mean, oh, what is that? So you want to hit its back, and then you want to fire at these um things, whatever. What the hell they're called? I. I don't know why they even show it in a Mario game. I don't know what they were thinking. So once we did that three times, now we have to do it again. If we don't do it three times, we have to do it twice. Oh, I didn't remember. I don't remember if they. Ow. I don't remember them shooting Starbits like that. I don't remember them doing that. So. One. Oh yeah, there we go. Now, he's going to actually pop out a bit quicker, so you want to be very quick with it. So I'm just going to do backflips, and then, there. And, there. Whoa, I didn't actually remember Mario just, like, make that spider fall, like... I'm not trying to explain. I didn't know that the spider would actually fall out like that, just, like, all the way out of the web. Yeah, that is very cool graphics, especially for the Wii 2007. So we got three stars, that's not bad. Because I got two more to go before we end this video. Next one is... Wait, do I remember this one? Oh yeah, yeah, now I remember this. Rolling Green Galaxy. Um, this is where you're going to need the Wii Remote for this, which... is basically holding the power. Yeah, because I'm playing with power! Yeah, that's what the original NES um, said on these 80s commercials, which is pretty good. Yeah, look at that Mario just like flying 
fall in there, and then land. So welcome to the galaxy. Now he, this warp, this billboard is actually going to give us a tutorial. So the old billboard. Wait, you're not that old. You're like three days old. Yeah, that's what you are. So you want to basically land on the ball. No, you want to hold it up straight. Yeah, that's what it said. So that's the basic position. Now we basically move it around, kind of like you're controlling the ball, which is actually pretty creative. Now I won't show it on the um, the LCD screen because yeah, I'm basically focused on this. So you want to roll the ball very carefully. Yeah, I'm basically tilting too much. So if you tilt too much, then you lose control of it. Yeah, the music will actually speed up once Mario's moving too fast. So the music would actually change if you're moving fast or slow. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> I just want to go home. I don't want to go. No, no. <laughs> okay. Alright. We're doing it. We're doing it. Hey, come on, no! Okay, these Goombas are going to be a real pain because they'll make you jump off the ledge really terribly, so... Yeah, see what I mean? You can't control it while you're in midair, so... Yeah, my hand is actually shaking, I just can't help it. Check it out! I can't collect all of them because I can't use the remote to point at the screen because that's... Well, I can, but you can't actually tilt. There we go. So we break the crystal ball, and why would a star be in the crystal ball? Did Bowser really grab the power star and then put it inside a crystal ball? Or is there like a crossover with Dr. Eggman doing a sneaky scheme of it? Yeah, I actually liked the Mario and Sonic, you know, crossover game, which is... The Olympic Games made in 2008. Yeah, the game isn't bad, but the the yeah, it's a good game, but the Wi-Fi is discontinued. 500. I need about 95 more. So we're gonna do one more. What's the last one gonna be? Uh, let's try this one to end it, end things off. So, hurry, Sky Guess. Oh, I remember this one. I remember this galaxy. I remembered it very well. So, basically, if you land on a platform, they'll like disappear within three seconds. So, you can't stop and think. You basically have to be very quick. Yeah, and the music is actually kind of creepy. I don't. I kind of hear what kind of music it's playing because. The TV is actually muted because I don't want that to interfere with the camera. The floor falls away when you step on it. Be careful. Yeah, see what I mean? If you step on it, they will go away. So, so, sayonara, loser. <laughs> okay. What was that? What was it? What just happened? I, I got the remote like this, and then I quickly went to that. I didn't actually move it in a circle. That is just ridiculous. It's like Super Mario got it's like Super Mario 64 when Mario was actually trying to do a turn but then it actually did a I was trying to do that there. So I would not recommend getting the one I could. I tried I bleh, I tried walking along the path, but it started disappearing with every step I took. It's dangerous I'll tell you. Now, watch this. See, I'm actually able to- Wait, 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 Now we're flying into this once you better move quick. I'm back, and unfortunately my uh, phone that I used to record on for the face cam is actually full, so I had to actually, you know, move it onto my computer and actually remove the thing on my phone so I can get space in order to record the last ones. Now look at this! <laughs> Look at me, I'm walking around in circles. Yeah! Whee! <laughs> hey, look, I'm actually not getting the star. I'm actually, you know, flying around it. 
They're like, I'm actually tilting on a nice magical angle. <laughs> anyway, that was very funny. <laughs> um, we got the start, and... Yeah, I need to figure out what's taking up a lot of storage on my phone. That really sucks. It happened before on the, the camera with the SD card, so... Yeah, I guess I have to do some organisation. So... Save the game? No, thank you. Okay, 20 stars. Now, what's the next thing for the next episode? Nothing special. Okay. So, next time on Super Mario Galaxy, um, we're going to continue doing the galaxies which I haven't actually done yet.